Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Flower. In the last part, we just got done uh, getting through with the fourth level to kind of a depressing conclusion, but now let's get into an even more depressing level with level five, the purple flower. So as you can tell in the last part, things did not take a turn for the better. They took a turn for the far worse. One of the most contrasting kind of elements in the video game. Here we kind of see raindrops are falling on the concrete ground and it's raining more of that amazing <laughs> you know still animation that that game company is good for but here we start off as an already drooping flower so let's get started this level you're probably gonna and for some reason we turn into a white flower here which is a kind of strange but something you'll notice here aside from the very dreary depressing dark gloomy setting you will not find a lot of flowers here and there's actually these things right over here these electrocuted pylons if you touch them you will get hurt okay I'm not gonna demonstrate it here for the simple fact that there's an achievement not to get hurt but if you um if you activate all of the purple ones around that area, it'll kind of de-electrify them. <laughs> so that is very good news bears for us if we want to navigate through areas that are thick and heavy with those things. But um, I think we missed one actually. Yep, there it is. So if you touch one, you will get hurt, but you can't die. You just you lose some of your flower petals. So be very careful when you're touching these because it's kind of hard to determine where your actual hit detection begins and and so on so just keep that in mind and we grow very few flowers this is going to be one of the hardest levels to gain flowers and and I love like how out of tune like the harps or whatever sound or the guitar sounds when you take them out or they just sound flat or something but this is probably the hardest level and the achievement is ridiculous to get a lot of people haven't gotten it I haven't gotten it yet um I'm hopefully going to get it on my first time but for this area right here this big one going through the side door and be very careful because um, you can hear things falling around you and you're gonna be careful don't go through the front you'll have to come in through the back back to that bathroom window <laughs> fail references fail but there we go this area was probably the hardest to get the uh, get that thing simply because of you know just how it is but um, from what I can tell the, you like your tail of petals behind you they can still touch like a certain amount of them can but if you go over here actually oh crap probably don't want to forget about this we have a secret bouquet over here that we're going to want to collect um it's in this valley over here all by itself and if um if you collect it coming from this side that's where we spawned over there um the trail of flowers that spawn here they're going to go to the entrance for some reason which is where we started and i guess ugh, i don't know yeah let's just collect it i guess because i just i might as well just show it i won't go all the way i'll just collect all the flowers if you came from the entrance which would just be basically behind you just right over there is where we started um then we'll be uh we would come over down here through this path collect the bouquet and it would go over to the right side to where we had to go which means you could have transversed all that electrical crap and just gone straight through this area without getting hurt mind you as long as it's not electrical it will not hurt you so keep that in mind or burning or whatever it is because I don't, I don't know how to explain it but and you can completely skip this part you do not have to put yourself in any immediate danger going through this area um, only in a couple of spots only in the second area and the third area probably <laughs> But um, here we can just be a little careful getting close. I don't know if this one right here next to the flowers will hurt. It looks like it will. But we still want to be very careful because as you can tell that it is connected. And I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Good. 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 Oh, wait. Maybe we do have to do all this because those wires connected. I don't know. Because there's areas. These basically we're going to have to collect all of them in a specific area in order to continue onwards. Um, because they're going to be electrical towers, we're going to have to de-electrify in order to get through, and I guess it's video game logic that, you know, we can't just, because as you could tell, if you try and get out of the boundaries of a level, you'll just get winded back in, no pun intended, but there, I don't think there was even a pun there to begin with, so let's just continue on over here, and you're going to see these, don't touch those pipes over there, because if you do, you will take damage, I'm fairly certain. I haven't tried it yet, and I don't plan on it. It's just those lights on there do not look very... The lights are there to indicate extreme danger, obviously. But, God, this this level is just so depressing. I mean, this game started out so happy, and I even... I, it's been two episodes, and I haven't even 
talked about that girl, you know. I mean, if we ever get married, then I think I would be awkward in telling her I dedicated a Let's Play to her in her honor and not have mentioned her for half of it. So I guess I'll now I'll mention her again in a little bit. But here we've got these uh, towers, and you're going to have to take care of this. Do not touch that stone concrete to the left or you'll get hurt. And uh, once we do that, we'll de-electrify this tower. I don't know what else to call it, de-electrify, and in turn, that pipe will be de-electrified, which means that we can continue on to the next area. Very nice. But, uh, like I was saying, like, I don't know. Like, not much has really changed. Like, it was kind of cool because one of the long days I had to go to work, she wasn't working that day, and I was really depressed because it was going to be a long day without seeing her gorgeous eyes, and God, I just feel so stupid saying that, but... Yeah, but then she, like, came in on random, and I was so surprised that I was literally, like, dumbstruck. Like, it was it was incredible, and I don't know. She went, she came and picked something up from the meat department, or I guess some seafood, like a seafood platter, but it was, it was incredible seeing her. Like, it was the best surprise, like, that made my entire day, but okay, let's talk about the game again. Here, we've got this large-ish sprawling area, and basically... This works like the windmills in the previous area here with these bouquets. We still get a slight burst of wind, but you're going to see these big towers. You'll Okay, first you'll notice these small towers. Just make sure you grab all the bouquets from all underneath all of them. I don't think there's, uh, there's another one. Now these big towers, they're going to have uh, pipes attached to them, and you're going to see that you're also going to have to de-electrify these things also by activating the purple at their feet. And you're going to want to be very careful with this because if you touch the corners, you'll get you'll get dead. So, and the achievement is to get through this entire level without taking a single bit of damage. And you're not going to want to do that because it's a, it's a hard achievement to get. And this level is fairly lengthy. So, we're going to be careful here. And, uh, okay, I'm, I'm kind of, I just really don't want to get hurt and I don't want to re-narrate everything. Because every time I re-narrate, like, I've only done it like a couple times. Not in this Let's Play yet, which is really good. But I always end up, you know, mentioning something in a scrap recording, and then I'll I'll have referenced it, and it won't have been in that recording because I scrapped it. So, just things like that. That's I, you know, I always talk about something different in every video. It's never consistent. And when you get the last one, I think, yeah, there we go. Okay, you can't get hurt after you collected the last one, even if you're going full speed into the corner. We've got this one, and since we haven't fully explored this area, you haven't seen this part yet. But there are going to be three of those pipes that you're going to have to do. So. Basically, repeat what we did at the end of the last area and do that. So, um, I guess we can still continue over here. Um, we still haven't gone through nearly half this area. I don't know. There's, they're just in random areas, and if you get all those mini towers, then that's good too because um, those will help you get the, uh, the secret bouquet in this area. So that's pretty good as well. So, <sighs> God, this it's so depressing though because like you wonder why people don't talk about this you know, latter part of the game, but I, I I totally get it. Like, if I was talking about this game, like, I would not have mentioned this in the earlier... I mean, I didn't, and I didn't plan on it. After playing this, I was like, no, you people have to see it with your own your eyes, because it is like a plot twist beyond, you know, The Empire Strikes Back. This is... Like, you wouldn't expect it. Like, I didn't expect it at all. I didn't expect it. Ugh, but... It's just so depressing. It reminds me so much of Limbo, too. Like, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. When we go through the industrial area of Limbo, God, that game was awesome, too. I'm hopefully going to do that eventually, too. I already kind of did a Let's Play of it on my main channel. It was only... It wasn't really a Let's Play as much as it was a walkthrough. I was going to narrate over it, but something happened to that, and I started uploading all the episodes without narration, and I just decided to leave it as a Let's Play, and that's kind of when I realized... You know, I'm surprised. I got, like, 2,000 views per video, which was kind of cool. But that was on the day it came out. And funny enough, that night I actually ended up watching uh, Inception with a couple of buddies of mine. And we stayed out and played, you know, video games at their house for, like, uh, I don't know, until, like, 4 in the morning. And when I got home, like, the, uh, the games still weren't up. So that was kind of cool. And that was when I was living in Spokane. So I wasn't living in my current living conditions right now. I was living with a friend of mine. And he for some reason was sleeping downstairs because him and his girlfriend were having some uh, troubles and you know she had moved in with him you know pretty much the same time I did and it's kind of embarrassing oh and with that usually okay so that's gonna fall when you activate all of the mini towers except we're still missing one I think I think I walked right or walked I, I think I went right past it but basically that's what's gonna happen when we when we plant enough flowers you know they're gonna take root and they're gonna up 
underhold this, you know, I don't even know what these things are made of, like, metal, I guess. I don't know. That would seem obvious for, you know, obvious reasons, but... But yeah, it kind of sucked, and so he, he was basically sleeping like 10 feet away from me, and we were in the basement, and I couldn't really be very loud, so I was just like, ah, whatever, so I just recorded it, put it on my main account, which I still have right now, the new Noelis and Cruz, which is such a mouthful, I don't know what I was thinking when I was making, making that account, I, I kind of got like the LS and Cruz here, just because I was thinking of something you know, like something kind of easy, but something that incorporated in my name. And I had used most of the reiterations of it, you know, Ellison Cruz, Ellison CRZ, which is, you know, Cruz and then Elfson. And I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to go under some fake synonym for my name. Oh, and as you can tell, we just broke down that area, which is very, very cool. And the music in this is so, like, so... The score in this game is incredible. Like, the feel, like, if it can change your mood in the entire atmosphere and then it's just uh you wouldn't in expect this game to be like that and what is with me in saying inspect i think it's because i'm my nose is slightly congested and it's like i don't want to like blow on camera or anything but i'm actually i actually could yeah i'm gonna play this pretty well with one hand i think I, nah i'm not gonna do that on camera for you guys god this this commentary needs to be more depressing i don't know anything depressing um there's been nothing depressing in my life really i mean i'm not gonna say it's all happy but uh, it's not like the most depressing in the world, you know, I mean, there's nothing like nobody really important to me has died recently and I don't know, but there's a lot of people I've been getting out of touch with recently. I haven't really been talking much to the friends I used to be talking to quite a bit back in the day and I'm afraid that if I see them then my common instincts are just going to kick in and I'm going to end up, you know, not really, I'm going to probably end up being a bit cold to them without even realizing it, but um, I just generally do that I guess I don't know what it is about me and oh here it is it was right at the beginning the one we missed right here okay so grab this one uh, and yeah there's just some people I wish I could still talk to but I know if I did start talking to them again because I have all the power in the world I have numbers I have whatever Facebook or whatever stupid I can just talk to whoever I want and that would be that but Uh, with that, we have a beautiful camera angle of our newly bouquet bouquet here, so that's very nice. That is very, very good times for us. We are very, very happy right now, you know. So, yeah, there's that for you. I mean, I guess something depressing is that, you know, that girl. I don't know. It doesn't... I, I Maybe I'm just overanalyzing myself way too much. It just seems like she's not, like, that into, like, I don't know, maybe anybody, but I don't know. Sometimes... It's just hard to explain, because I'll, like, smile at her and stuff, and she'll, like, smile back, but then, like, when I look away, she kind of, like, does the look away where she's like, uh, but, like, I don't know what that means. I, I'm not, I mean, I'd like to think sometimes I'm good at reading stuff, and that I'm just reading that is probably all wrong, because I just need to talk to her. That's it. Just talk to her, and that would, that would be it. I mean, there's nothing else. So here we have the maze, the third area of this. Now, you want to be very careful here. Um, because they, some of these pylons are going to explode on you, and that would not be good news bears for us, because we'd have to restart this, oh, this entire level, oh god, oh god, okay, let's be a little careful. Now, you can deactivate some of them, as you can see here, but I am not going to bother with that, because that is not worth our time, and, uh, I think at this point, this is the recording I'm gonna stick to, I've already talked about too much in such a little amount of time that I'm not gonna bother re-recording, even if I do mess up. So just be very cautious of your surroundings, and it's very easy to get through this. A lot of the areas are interlocked, and they kind of interweave with each other, but I'm going to see if we're going to get that secret bouquet, which should be hidden off to the right over here, I do believe, maybe, and uh, no. Oh, yes, they are. Yes. All right, sweet. So very easy to find. There's our third bouquet. Now we can actually get out of here for the final stretch of this level, which is the hardest, and the main reason why a lot of people can't get this achievement. Um, I haven't gotten this yet, and I haven't tried this method yet, but I'm hopeful it'll work because it's basically, it does the, oh god, the thunder is shaking the screen. Okay, it's basically doing the opposite of what I did to get through this the first couple times, so. We're gonna keep going over here, and once you activate these, uh, yellow, is it, nope, this pink, why did I say yellow? I meant to say this pink, okay. And go straight up, and be careful, oh, alright, so go up as high as you can. And do not speed up at all. This next part is almost impossible if you don't do this because I've tried this multiple ways. And just go up as high as you can. Oh god, and it looks like maybe we're not going to make it. Okay. 
It looks like we're getting really close to these. Uh, even if you touch those, even if they're falling and you're touching them and they're not electrocuted, you will get hurt, so be careful. And dodging them, I think they fall the same every time because I was able to dodge those first couple ones the exact same way by going like right, left, right, right, left or something. You know, right, left, right, up, down, whatever the Konami code. Go out, just stay up as high as you can and do not speed up. Um, this is as slow as I can go right here, but this is... Just look at this, guys. We're going to... Whoa, okay. Oh, yeah, these coming out of the ground and stuff. And just... How does this even happen? I mean, I know we're in a video game, but like... Never mind. I just, I, I'm not even going to question the validity of that question right there because it's just dumb. We're, we're blooming flowers, for God's sake. And look at us. We've barely got any. And with that... Oh. Okay, we're getting a little too close for comfort here. And then, Okay, oh god, no. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, and probably don't want to touch those wires just in case, but oh god. Okay, wait, wait, did we make it? We, oh my god, we made it, you guys. Oh, okay, for some reason I didn't think that worked, but woo, we are doing a happy dance. Happy dance time for Ellis Cruz here, and with that, we don't even end the level all the way. Strange enough as that seems, but with that, look at that. We beat the level and it's it's still like dead. Isn't that just like one of the most depressing things? It's just it's never gonna be alive ever again for us. It is a little bit more alive there once we got all three of the things, so that's as happy as that flower is going to get. Now this next one. Oh, then there's the yes. All right, sweet. Okay, so we did not get hurt. Um, actually, uh, I don't know if I want to show that. We'll show that later. In the next part, we're gonna tackle. Okay, thanks, game. We're going to tackle the very last level, which is by far the best level in this entire game in terms of everything. So keep your eyes, keep your eyes, keep your eyes on the lookout for that as we enter the domain of the final level. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Allison Cruz. Talk to you guys next time on Flower.